If you're looking for your next car, we're here to help. We review all of the UAE's latest cars, compare models, and give you a full review to make your decision easier. We're Motopedia. The GS350 ups its game with a new, more aggressive exterior and interior styling. Is it going to scare the BMWs and Audis, or is it more of what we've seen with Lexus in the past? Let's find out. Nearly every angle of the vehicle is strikingly different than it was before, from its conservative roofline to its new spindle grille, now seen on so many other Lexus products. Some may not like it, but others appreciate it, and it makes the GS instantly recognizable on the road. That very striking effect gets a little too busy with its footlights that get tucked away on F sport cars, replaced by LED eyeliner on the headlamps. The rear of the car is not even close to the excitement up front and really disappointed us. The GS350 is now a composed athletic sports sedan, especially when you look to F Sport models with their extra performance accessories. All GS sedans now sport a 3.5 litre V6 engine with an 8 speed transmission with paddle shifters. For 2014, it's tuned up to 312 horsepower through direct injection, and as you rev from about 3000 rpm and above, the sweet engine sound is piped right back into the cabin completely opposite to Lexus's previous ideology of quietness. You get normal, eco, sport and sport plus modes, which change the driving dynamics and suspension of the car considerably. There's a lot of tech engineering here, which we won't bore you with, but just know that this car will behave in any way you'd like it to. On the whole, the level of fit and finish in the GS350 is very high. High-grade plastic trim now dominates the dash, from the console coverings to the metallic highlights that surround the analog clock at a high-resolution display that sucks in all the attention away from beautiful big gauges. The Lexus infotainment controller uses a mouse-like device on the center console to operate climate, audio and phone functions via an 8-inch or 12-inch display if you have the nav option. The controller itself is easy to use, but the sat-nav has very toy-like graphics that really bring down the entire class of the car. With 10 seating positions, it's easy for the driver to get comfortable, and there's enough room for five more, although the middle seat is really for children. The space is about the same as the old Lexus, although we felt more headroom. The trunk is bigger and wider, making it easy to put things in. The GS's standard cruise control can be upgraded to active cruise control with a pre-collision warning system and brake intervention. Finally, a new lane departure warning system works with a lane keeping system to gently steer the GS back into its lane if the car's sensors detect a drift out of its proper driving lane. The airbag count goes up to 10, active headrests are standard, and so are a rear view camera and parking sensors, and Bluetooth, which we consider a safety device. It's very difficult to find fault with the GS. It's a UAE favorite, and it deserves to be so, with its legendary reliability and resale being the icing on a perfect cake. If you're looking for a mid-size luxury sedan, you might also want to check out the Audi A6, BMW 5 Series, Cadillac CTS, Kia Chorus, Infiniti Q70, Hyundai Genesis, Lincoln MKS, Jaguar XF, Mercedes-Benz E-Class and others. Check their videos out too before you make a decision. Looking for a particular kind of car that you want us to review? Subscribe to our channel and like us on Facebook. Then write to us and we'll get it done.